is Lloyd Chambers at DitchLloyd.com. I want to talk about infinity focus. That sounds easy. You take a lens and it has a, a manual focus lens and it's got an infinity stop marked right on it. So you go, bunk, and you're done. Well, it's not that simple, unfortunately. Uh, I remember working with two Canon 5D Mark IIs once, two camera bodies, and I did this with a Zeiss wide angle. And Zeiss sets their infinity marks very precisely. And in one camera, the infinity shot, distant landscape, was nice and sharp. On the other one, it was off. We're talking full aperture, stopping down, I'll mask this. But basically, the second camera was just a little off so that infinity on the lens was not actually infinity on the sensor. So you cannot assume that that infinity mark is accurate. In fact, if you take a Zeiss Otis, it has uh, special types of glass in it which change refraction properties with temperature and it may not be visible here, but I've racked it past infinity. Now, why is that? Well, very cold or very warm temperatures will change the focus point. So you can't even have a hard infinity point to choose from. And especially if you're shooting stars or distant landscape, you do not want to assume that infinity is accurate. Uh, for that, you'll need live view, uh, zoom in magnified, and nail that focus uh, in the distance where you intend it to be. And you'll be much happier with the results. This is particularly important if you're shooting stars where you're going to shoot wide open, maybe even at f1.4. You cannot assume that infinity focus. In fact, once I set up my camera, and the temperature was dropping rapidly and I found that about half an hour later when I was ready to shoot I had pre-focused it wasn't focused quite as well uh, because the temperature dropped 20 degrees or so this is a very small difference but I could see it so don't assume that infinity mark is perfect uh, you got, you've got to uh, check it with live view